with Resistance 2, what ended up being the, the ultimate pillar for us for the game is scale. And when I say scale, I'm talking about scale of the environments, the sheer size of the environments. Scale in terms of the numbers of enemies that you'll see attacking you on the screen. And of course, scale of some of the enemies themselves. Bigger characters, bigger levels, more lighting, better lighting, bring those elements to the table. And by just focusing on those and not chasing every other element, I think that that's what really made making Resistance 2 and, and its tech possible. That was only feasible because we had separate teams working on all of these different modes, which of course hooked together. But that created a game of, of, of scale that we had never tried before. Negative, Keystone, pull back. Do you copy? Fighting the Leviathan in Chicago was one of those experiences that when we first got it running, we said, yes, that's, that's what we really were going for. We tried to set it up so the player feels like they're right in the heart of the action and really grappling with this huge conflict all the time. One of the key signatures of an Insomnia game has always been the long view the ability to see far, and that when you do see far, it still, it looks good, that you see lots of elements, that they're active and um, detailed. We try to set things up um, with compositions that the player is forced to look at in-game that really supports that glimpse into deep space. So for a sequence like the, the Bay Bridge sequence in, in R2, we started out by blocking out a composition, kind of getting a good idea um, of what the basic pieces would be and how they'd fit together. Then we just add one um, layer upon layer until we get something that's hopefully like really a spectacular moment for the player when they get to experience it for the first time. We've had a couple of years now to optimize a lot of those different technologies that go into drawing a character, whether it's the animation system, which is probably eight times faster than it was in Resistance 1 now, or the physics system, which um, is maybe three or four times faster than it was in Resistance 1. Our designers can put these shots in where you have 40 guys rushing at you and attacking you, but all those characters are independently doing their AI, and all the effects are running on all of them, and there's no fakery. It was really about finding these new approaches and making them come to life. In terms of the detail that you'll see in the characters, the detail you'll see in the environments, the sheer amount of stuff going on in the game, all that is because we have been able to tweak our engine over the last couple of years. And now uh, Resistance 2 is the pinnacle for us of what we've been able to achieve on PlayStation 3. Our vision of Resistance 2, as big as it was, wasn't as big as what we had when we shipped the game. We really hope that, uh, that, that players kind of just Take a minute to take in um, the, the enormity of the scene they're looking at. Capelli! Hopefully it's um, something that will stick with people like after they put the game down even a couple years later. All of us here at Tonya are really satisfied with what we came out with and uh, we're really happy to have done it.